Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the best. If you want a phone with a good camera, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra definitely has the best. It's our favorite smartphone for a variety of reasons, including its incredibly versatile camera module with a super zoom function that really works. While the camera on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has not kept all the promises given, that of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra succeeds in its intent. The quadruple camera module on the back of the S21 Ultra consists of a 108 megapixels main sensor, an ultra wide 12 megapixel sensor, and, for the first time in a phone, two telephoto lenses. Both use a 10 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization, but the first one has an f stop 2.4 aperture that allows for a 3 times optical zoom, while the second has an f stop 4.9 aperture capable of a 10 times optical zoom. The 100 times digital zoom makes a welcome return, but this time around it is assisted by a zoom lock function that helps keep things in focus. The main sensor groups together every 9 pixels in order to produce 12 megapixel photos, with a high dynamic range both during the day and at night. It captures sharper, more detailed, and more natural looking images compared to previous generations, and with a softer bokeh effect that obfuscates the background to highlight the subject. This high resolution sensor also allows for video recording up to 8K at 24 FPS, ideal for those who shoot a lot of videos. The ultra wide camera is the best one we have seen so far from Samsung. It produces slightly sharper photos than before, while the addition of autofocus further extends its usability. Add to all this hardware goodness the wide range of camera modes, new software tricks, and the 40 megapixel selfie camera and you can understand why the S21 Ultra is the best camera phone of 2021. The only gripe we have with the S21 Ultra's camera is its short-range zoom. Both telephoto lenses produce spectacular photos at their native focal lengths, and the intermediate zoom, between 3x and 10x zoom, isn't bad either. Going beyond the 10x zoom limit is not out of the question, but space zoom shots are best left for the marketing team. For the rest, it is worth noting that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is quite large, offering a screen size of 6.8 inches. Other key features include the fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, in the US and China, or Exynos 2100 in the rest of the world, the stunning dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a wide quad HD plus resolution, 3200 by 1440 pixels, a refresh rate of 120Hz, the support for HDR10+, and a peak brightness of 1,500 nits. If you like to have a point-and-shoot camera always with you, and don't mind splurging more than $1,000 for it, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a fantastic camera phone. Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, a valid alternative. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra isn't just the phone with the best camera in the Galaxy lineup, it's the phone with the most impressive camera yet. Instead of focusing on computational photography, the S20 Ultra is betting everything on megapixels. There are 108 of those in the main camera, 60 in the telephoto lens, and 12 in the ultra-wide one. The same pattern continues to the front, where you'll find a 40-megapixel selfie camera. But hardware alone isn't gonna cut it in 2020, and Samsung has gifted this phone with some new software tricks. The main feature is called Space Zoom, a 100 times hybrid zoom. Yes, it sounds more impressive than it is, after all the telephoto lens features an optical zoom of just about 10 times. The 100 times zoom is a combination of optical and digital zoom, hence the term hybrid. That said, the S20 Ultra zoom is better than anything else out there. You'll also find the excellent single take function, which pulls stills, GIFs and other shareable images from a single 10 second video. Existing features, such as night mode, have also seen some improvement. All in all, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is the best camera phone if money is no concern. Google Pixel 5 and 4a 5G, Best Android Point and Shoot Camera Phones For some time now Pixel phones were an automatic recommendation when it came to camera phones, but that's no longer the case. The competition has caught up with Google's computational photography, and Pixel phones are starting to look poorly equipped in comparison. Be that as it may, in testing out the Pixel 5, our expectations were high. And it didn't disappoint us, we were really impressed by Google's flagship camera, despite its many other flaws. If you are looking for an Android point-and-shoot camera phone, 
then Google Pixel 5 is the ideal choice. Despite not having the most up-to-date hardware, what it lacks in innovation, it makes up in reliability and usability. C. This year Google added the ultra-wide camera, much requested by users, but it came in place of the telephoto lens, and that's really the only change at the hardware level. Google, in fact, equipped the Pixel 5 with a 12.2 megapixels main camera, and a 16 megapixels ultra-wide angle lens. Where the Pixel 5 disappoints compared to the competition is the zoom. Google has promised that its new super zoom based on artificial intelligence will make up for the missing telephoto lens. Well, zoomed photos are definitely better than your typical digital zoom camera phone, but they're not on par with those taken with a dedicated zoom lens. Despite this, Google's device takes advantage of every other tool at its disposal, capturing clear and detailed shots, with accurate colors in good lighting conditions, although its performance decreases slightly in low-light conditions. But it's software that elevates this camera to excellence, with features such as portrait light mode convincingly illuminating faces and subjects, along with the powerful set of photo editing tools embedded into the device that lets you refine your photos in post. In addition, Google's Night Sight feature is a thousand times better than Apple's Night Mode on the iPhone 11 Pro. The Pixel 5 also boasts a rather unique dual exposure function, which allows you to adjust contrast and brightness before shooting, even in low light conditions. And for those who need it, there's also the astrophotography feature. The biggest argument against the Pixel 5 is that you can get the much cheaper Pixel 4a 5G with the exact same camera setup and software innovations, which ruins the value of the Pixel 5. The good news, though, is that there's almost no other competition at this price range. Google Pixel 5's photography is that good. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Best Business Camera Phone The new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the second phone from Samsung to boast the Ultra moniker, and it's the best business camera phone as it excels in everything. It's 108 megapixel primary camera, the same one we first saw in the Galaxy S20 Ultra but which was plagued by design flaws, was refined with the use of a new laser autofocus sensor. The 12 megapixel telephoto lens uses a periscope designed to achieve a 5 times optical zoom, a 10 times digital lossless zoom, and a 50 times hybrid zoom. In addition, this device can record 8K video, HDR video, and sports a more than capable night mode, thus being a camera phone suitable for any occasion. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra doesn't take better photos than the Apple 11 Pro and Pro Max, it excessively smooths faces in portrait mode and has a tendency to blow out the highlights. On the other hand, it is difficult to declare a clear winner among the three regarding the overall image quality. However, the Samsung is infinitely more versatile than the two Apple flagships, due to its insane megapixel count and unrivaled zoom. Aside from the camera, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra offers a stunning 6.9-inch OLED display featuring a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate technology, and the unmatched performance of its Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor in the US, and Samsung Exynos 990 in the rest of the world. Considering its price, you wouldn't expect anything less. OnePlus 9 Pro, the best for wide-angle shots. OnePlus phones are not often included in this list. Previous models were usually one or two steps behind the rest of the best camera phones, and while the OnePlus 9 Pro doesn't threaten the primacy of Apple and Samsung, it is by far the best camera phone that the company has produced so far. It boasts a 48 megapixels main camera with optical image stabilization, an 8 megapixels telephoto lens with a 3 times optical zoom, a 50 megapixels ultrawide lens, and a 2 megapixels monochrome sensor for shooting in black and white. The ultrawide camera is definitely the most noteworthy of the three, as it features a freeform lens design that reduces the distortion often observed at the edges of wide angle shots. OnePlus 9 Pro's cameras were developed in collaboration with photography specialist Hasselblad. The collaboration mainly concerned color calibration and the design of the camera app. And despite the OnePlus 9 Pro now sporting new powerful manual controls, it can still function as a traditional point and shoot camera. We also expect more from this partnership on future models. Add to all this video recording up to 8K, and an equally capable 16 megapixel selfie camera, and the OnePlus 9 Pro is a solid all rounder when it comes to photography. The only drawback is that we experienced some mixed results when shooting in low light conditions. 
Anyhow, overall, we were very pleased with the photographic prowess of the OnePlus 9 Pro, which can now finally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best from Apple and Samsung. As for the rest, this is a powerful device, with a fantastic screen, amazing stereo speakers, and super-fast charging. And it's also great value for money, being a premium phone that sells for a much lower price than many other flagships. Apple iPhone 12 and 12 mini, best value iPhone cameras. While the iPhones 12 Pro and Pro Max set the new standards for mobile photography, the iPhones 12 and 12 mini are not far behind. Even if they don't have a telephoto lens or the LiDAR scanner, these iPhones still benefit from Apple's camera software and a neural engine. This means they can boast the same premium functions like night mode, deep fusion, and smart HDR. These two iPhones come with a dual camera module on the back, which consists of a 12 megapixels main sensor and a 12 megapixels ultra wide angle lens, as well as a single 12 megapixels camera on the front. Despite the fact that the iPhones 12 and 12 mini don't have a dedicated telephoto lens, you still get a 5 times digital zoom. The lack of a zoom lens obviously means that these cameras aren't ideal if you want to shoot distant subjects, and there are better choices on this list if zoom is important to you. All three cameras work well, and these two iPhones perform better than most competing phones in low light conditions, and this is true regardless of which lens you use since the new night mode works with all of them. The iPhones 12 and 12 mini also benefit from the improved Smart HDR 3, which uses artificial intelligence to optimize images, while for videos you can take advantage of Dolby Vision, which means that these phones are able to cover a wider dynamic range and reproduce brighter colors than ever before. Ultimately, these two iPhones are the ideal phones to buy if the price of the iPhone 12 Pro seems too much to you. Google Pixel 4a, Best Cheap Camera Phone The Google Pixel 4a was released in August 2020 and its camera is ridiculously good. It is in fact equipped with the Pixel 4 Stellar Camera, while costing much less. The single 12.2 megapixels rear camera pales in comparison to the quartet of sensors we find on the back of many mid-range phones, but is nevertheless able to dominate most of them. The difference is that the single lens of the Pixel 4a benefits from Google's software magic in image processing, from night sight and super resume all the way to lave HDR+. Whether it's a bright outdoor scene or a low-light interior one, the Pixel 4a can produce realistic color tones and excellent detail. Thanks to the software, Google is able to reproduce the same camera performance as phones sporting a 48 or even a 64 megapixels camera, and, unless you are obsessed with zoom lenses, you will probably prefer the Pixel 4a's photos more than those of other phones in its price range. The end product is not only the best cheap camera phone, but one of the absolute best camera phones yet. And since it comes equipped with as much as 128GB of built-in storage, you'll have plenty of space for photos and videos compared to the amount of internal memory you get from most competing phones. Before you go out and buy it though, it's worth taking a look at the 5G version. The Pixel 4a 5G features the same dual rear camera module and Snapdragon 765G processor as the Pixel 5, and a larger display. It's a bit more expensive, but if you want a 5G device, it's worth the extra money. Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus, not the best but still great. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is easily the best camera phone released so far. However, it's not cheap. But Samsung released three S21 models this year. The Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus sport a camera module very similar to the one we find on their bigger sibling, but for hundreds of dollars less. You'll get a 12 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 64 megapixel telephoto lens, plus a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Just like the Ultra, both of these phones can record videos at 8K at 24 FPS. The only real difference is that their 3x hybrid zoom can't hold up to the 10 times optical zoom offered by the S21 Ultra. We should also note that despite the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus cameras are pretty much the same as the ones we find on the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus, they actually take much more impressive photos thanks to Samsung's software improvements. This move is part of the company's strategy to reduce costs, and in fact, the S21 and S21 Plus were less expensive than the S20 and S20 Plus during launch. These software enhancements include new shooting modes, such as single-take and director's view. 
The first allows you to capture a variety of photos and videos using all three rear cameras, while the second lets you shoot using the front and rear cameras at the same time. The Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus are capable of capturing detailed images in well-lit environments, with superb dynamic range, and bold intense colors that seem to jump straight out from the screen. Night mode does a great job of improving brightness, without adding annoying visual noises or dimming lighting sources. Thus, if you need a modern flagship camera phone, then the Samsung Galaxy S21 is the ideal candidate. It's a compact, pocketable device, that boasts the same camera module as the S21 Plus, while costing less. The S21 Plus on the other hand, offers the added bonus of a bigger display and battery. Apple iPhone 12 Pro, best camera phone for most people. Apple has reclaimed its lost ground compared to Android competitors with the release of the iPhone 11 series, and now the 12 series takes things a step further. At first glance, the cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro look exactly the same as those on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it is true that they are not very different, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max is superior, mainly thanks to its bigger main sensor and improved zoom. However, the iPhone 12 Pro takes photos that come very close in quality, and does so costing less. Its camera module combines in fact the fantastic photographic quality, with an impressive versatility that makes this the best choice when it comes to phone cameras. Of course, its triple lens module and 12 megapixel sensors are not enough to compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, at least not on paper. But Apple has really taken a huge step forward with its software processing. Following in Google's footsteps on artificial intelligence, the iPhone 12 Pro managed to overcome the expected results when reading its technical sheet. The iPhone 12 Pro features a new 12 megapixels main camera that is even faster than before, a 12 megapixels telephoto lens with a 2 times optical zoom, and a 12 megapixels ultra wide angle camera. It also comes with plenty of new features, such as a LiDAR scanner, which can be used to create augmented reality experiences and take portraits in night mode. The night mode is really impressive, allowing you to take bright, detailed shots in situations where other phones would struggle. The iPhone 12 Pro is also capable of using the new Apple Pro RAW file format meaning you'll be able to combine Apple's advanced computational photography effects with the versatility of RAW files. In addition, machine learning and deep fusion technology provide good digital noise reduction while maintaining a natural, almost neutral tone. The 12 megapixels true depth selfie camera also works well, and there are useful features like Dolby Vision and Smart HDR3 for better image processing. The iPhone 12 Pro isn't the best camera phone on the market, but it is the best for most people. And we can only applaud Apple's progress in this area. And for creating one of the most reliable camera phones around. Apple iPhone SE 2020, Apple's best mid-range camera phone. The iPhone SE 2020 inherits the iPhone 8's form factor and camera and pairs it with the iPhone 11 Pro's processor and software. The result is a pocket smartphone that offers highly respectable photos and videos. Since it lacks an ultra-wide or telephoto lens, it's definitely not perfect, but its camera is far better than those on the vast majority of similar priced models. Its small 4.7-inch 720p screen is not as bright or as fast as that of high-end models, but that also means its battery life isn't affected. It unlocks via Touch ID instead of Face ID, which is great now that we are all wearing a mask. Last but not least, it is water and dust resistant and it even boasts wireless charging. Considering Apple's regular software updates, the SE 2020 is the best value iPhone out there. Huawei Mate 40 Pro, almost the best. You may be surprised to find the Huawei Mate 40 Pro on this list, after all, it's a phone that we don't recommend buying. But the reason we can't recommend it has to do with its limited app store, and nothing to do with its cameras. In fact, its camera module is great. It features a 50 megapixels main camera, a 12 megapixels periscope lens with a 5 times optical zoom, and a 20 megapixels ultrawide lens. Although they do not impress on paper, it has all the cameras that matter, and all of them work great. From portrait shots to wide landscapes, and zoomed photos to close up subjects, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro can cope with almost any type of photo and does so brilliantly. It also does a great job in low light conditions, and without having to resort to night mode. Photos taken with the Mate 40 Pro display the typical characteristics of Leica cameras. 
The focus is fast and snappy, and the pictures are warm rich and vivid, but without looking unnatural or too elaborate, like the photos taken with Samsung smartphones. In addition, despite our focus on the rear module, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro also boasts a decent configuration on the front, with a 13 megapixels wide-angle lens camera, for group selfies, combined with a time-of-flight sensor for depth detection. Add to all this the super-stabilized video with impressive use of HDR, and you get a camera phone that excels in all fields of photography. If you are interested in photography more than anything else, this is the best camera phone you can buy right now. Oppo Find X3 Pro, the most unique. We were very impressed with the Oppo Find X2 Pro's camera module, so it's no surprise that its successor is another excellent camera phone. Oppo has taken a distinctly different approach with its 2021 flagship. Compared to its predecessor, the Oppo Find X3 Pro uses the proven formula of big main and ultra-wide sensors, boasting a wide and ultra-wide 50-megapixel cameras. Both use the new Sony IMX766 sensor, for optimal quality across the board. However, this time around they are paired with a 2x zoom telephoto lens, and a micro lens, up to 60 times magnification, in an attempt to spice things up. The main and ultra-wide-angle cameras produce perfect results under all lighting conditions. The images are beautifully vibrant and colorful, with the distortion on the ultra-wide kept to a minimum. Both of these sensors are more than capable of shooting in low-light conditions, and there is also a multi-exposure night mode for when the light is really scarce. The photos we took in the dark appeared bright enough, and with lots of detail. The 13-megapixel telephoto lens does a solid job with zoom shots, but the old model can get better results when zooming. Last but not least, the microscope is a different interpretation of the macro trend, it's a little more than a gimmick, but it's a very smart and fun move, and might be perfect for some. For the rest, its curvy design is very stylish, the OLED display is simply wonderful, the performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset is top-notch, and the 65 watts charger is incredibly fast, however, the battery life is only average. Huawei P40 Pro, Best Value The successor to the fantastic P30 Pro is an amazing camera phone. Sadly we can't recommend it like its predecessor. The US government has ordered Google to revoke Huawei's Android license. Therefore Huawei phones cannot use Google services. That said, the Huawei P40 Pro is one of the best camera phones around. The main camera sports a 50 megapixel sensor that captures excellent photos no matter the lighting conditions. Then there's the 5 times periscope zoom, zoomed photos have never looked so sharp. Add to the mix an ultra wide lens, as well as a depth sensor for good measure, and you have a really versatile camera module, capable of giving Apple's and Google's camera phones a run for their money. Add to this the competent selfie camera with a time of flight sensor for great portraits, and it's hard to find a fault in the P40 Pro's photo department. Video footage is also among the best we've ever seen from a smartphone. Ultimately though, the lack of Google services leaves this phone with a severe handicap. OnePlus 8 Pro, best camera phone for ease of use. OnePlus improved the camera module of the new 8 Pro, and crept closer to other flagships thanks to Sony's new 12-bit IMX689 sensor. The 48-megapixel main camera shoots crisp and colorful stills, and it's also capable of capturing stunning bokeh photos even in mediocre lighting conditions. In addition, thanks to the phase detection laser autofocus and optical image stabilization, the 8 Pro is blazing fast to act and produces consistent results across both photos and videos. Its telephoto lens includes a 3x optical zoom, thus it has a better maximum focal length than the iPhone 11 Pro, and on par with the Samsung Galaxy S20 and S20+. Plus. The real advantage of the 8 Pro is its 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera, which is much like a GoPro, and can squeeze more information into one frame than any other ultra-wide camera around. Is this the best camera phone? It is definitely one of the best. That said, this is probably the best camera phone for ease of use. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, a valid alternative. The camera of the S10 Plus is different from that of its predecessor, the S9 Plus. To improve the versatility of the already great 12 megapixels main sensor and 12 megapixels telephoto lens, Samsung added a third 16 megapixels wide angle sensor. As for the photos taken with the ultra wide angle lens, they lack detail, which is expected however they are sharp as the rest. The white balance is quite reliable, granting bright colors in almost every lighting condition, except total darkness. 
the selfie camera dual module has a standard and a wide-angle lens similar to the one on the Pixel 3. The 10-megapixel secondary lens is used for depth detection, and it manages to improve considerably the bokeh effect. Its only flaw is the absence of a night mode. Overall, the S10 Plus has one of the best and more versatile cameras on the market. Oppo Find X2 Pro, Best All-Round Camera Phone Oppo was relatively unknown until recently, but landed with a bang when it launched one of the best smartphones of 2020, the Find X2 Pro. From a camera perspective, the X2 Pro introduces Sony's new 12-bit IMX 689 sensor, capable of capturing high-resolution photos, with a nice depth of field, lots of detail, and good dynamic range. The best thing though is that the photos look natural and realistic, especially when viewed alongside those captured by Samsung's flagship models. In addition, the Oppo Find X2 Pro packs a telephoto periscope lens featuring a 13-megapixel sensor and a 5x optical zoom, which beats both the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and the Apple iPhone 12 Pro when it comes to zoom, and a super-sharp 48-megapixels ultra-wide camera for GoPro-esque shots. The night shots are not as impressive as those of the new iPhone 12, but they're not bad either. Last but not least, on the front, we also find a 32-megapixel selfie camera. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 system on a chip makes this smartphone seriously fast, delivering peak performance and a more than decent battery life. And then there is the absolutely stunning 120Hz Quad HD Plus OLED screen. That said, we haven't yet talked about the two distinct features of the X2 Pro, which has the fastest charger on the market, it goes from 0 to 100% in just 40 minutes, and that makes up for the lack of Qi wireless charging, not to mention the 256GB of base storage space. Ultimately, the Find X2 Pro is Oppo's best calling card now that the company has finally decided to make ripples at the top end of the segment. Xiaomi Mi Note 10, Best Budget Camera Phone Xiaomi aims towards greatness with this smartphone, which was the first to sport a 108-megapixel camera sensor. And with five cameras in total, it promises beautiful photos in every situation. The main camera is flanked by a 20-megapixel ultra-wide-angle lens, a 2-megapixel macro lens and two telephoto lenses. The main sensor uses pixel binning, it combines four pixels into one to generate a 27-megapixel final image with great details and low noise. The macro camera is the best one we have tested so far, and the telephoto lens can go up to 50 times digital zoom, but the quality drops drastically, and it doesn't show the same sharpness as the Huawei P30 Pro. Not surprisingly, the stills are breathtaking. However, you will mostly use the main camera since it's the most efficient and accurate one. Sadly, the slow app and long rendering times can ruin the photographic experience. It does not have much to envy from flagship phones, but also fails to achieve the level of excellence of a Google Pixel 4. Apple iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max, the best point-and-shoot camera phone. The iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max not only have the best cameras Apple has ever developed, but they are also the best camera phones for most users. They are extremely consistent and reliable, you take a shot and it will probably be good, just like that, even in mediocre lighting conditions. Their dynamic range is great, and with three cameras they now boast excellent versatility. The main camera has a focal length of 26mm, making it perfect for everyday snapshots. The ultra-wide camera allows you to take a step back without moving physically, framing a field twice as wide compared to the standard lens, thanks to its 13mm focal length. The telephoto lens can zoom in twice as much, again compared to the standard lens, thanks to its 52mm focal length, and is ideal for portraits. Apple has also introduced a new night mode that can maintain the shutter open for incredible low-light photography. Add to all this the beautiful colors, consistent across all cameras, and you are looking at a camera phone champion. If you're already an Apple fan, then the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max are a no-brainer. Huawei P30 Pro, personal favorite. Thanks to its versatility, Huawei occupies the leading position in the world of smartphone photography. Compared to the Huawei P20 Pro, the P30 Pro still goes up a notch with its 5x periscope optical zoom, that is also optically stabilized. In addition to its three lenses, Huawei added a time-of-flight sensor to enhance portrait mode. An 8-megapixel sensor has also been integrated behind the periscope lens, to deliver what Huawei calls a lossless 10x zoom. 
In addition to taking sharp and detailed pictures during the day, this phone is just as great at night. The night mode on the P30 Pro has a high sensitivity, and the images have good colors even in the dark. Finally, the P30 Pro captures really good video footage, but the sound is not as convincing. The P30 Pro is not perfect, but considering the versatility of its four sensors, its otherworldly zoom, amount of detail that can capture, and its night mode, it is still our favorite.